I just left the marina. It's another sunny day. Got about eight knots of breeze. And I'm headed to Montague Harbor again. I thought uh, it's time to leave the dock for a few nights. I'm single-handed this time. So uh, yeah, this will be fun. I've also, last night I dug out the stay sail and put that up. So if there's enough breeze, I'm going to try and uh, single hand with all four sails up and see uh, how much fun that is. <laughs> I've only sailed the boat with three sails twice. I, I didn't have the stay sail up, so it'll be kind of exciting to have that fourth sail up because that's what this boat was designed to, to do, is have four. Fingers crossed uh, that I can. It's just a little breeze right now. It's, this boat needs a little bit of wind to move it, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's about 21 miles to Montague. Uh, so if I was just a motor, we're doing five knots, uh, we'd be there in about four hours. So. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but you know it's it's sunny, it's nice out, and uh, I can't complain. I'm away from the dock. Another view looking aft at the mizzen. And the main. Walk forward. There's the stay sail and the head sail. I see how these two head sails work together now because the head sail is quite a high cut and the stay sail 
uh, covers lower down here. So it sort of captures down low. Of course, it's much smaller. Very fun. And here we are back at the helm. I was just going to show you we've got 8.3 knots of wind, true, and we're doing 4.4 knots over ground. It's kind of hard to see probably with the uh, reflections. So, 8 knots of breeze, 4.5 knots of speed. Not bad. So wind's dropping a little bit. We're down to 6.9 knots of wind. We're still doing 3.9 knots through the water. So this is perfect. I'm not in a big hurry. And as my uh, other better half would say, Devlin, <laughs> I'm in my happy place, under sail, so fun having four sails, but it is really uh, dying off the wind, so it may be short-lived for now, but at least I got these uh, all the sails up. That was my goal today, and, and by myself, so good to try it in this type of wind, not too strong, and just to figure out how everything works. Beautiful day. I'm starting to get reasonably close to uh, Montague Harbour. The wind hasn't really picked up. I think it's blowing two knots through with the true wind right now. So uh, I haven't rolled out the head sails again. But it's a beautiful day, nice and warm. And I think it's time to take down uh, the main and the mizzen because I'm going to have to do it. Uh, eventually and right now I've got lots of room I'm still underway uh, easier to do it now than obviously than in uh, Anchorage I don't suspect it's going to be busy there because uh, it's Tuesday in April so I'll get those sails down and be at the uh, harbor soon
And just like that, I've arrived to Montague Harbor, and I thought I'd share with everyone the technique that I use to pick up a mooring. Now I'd use the same technique, whether I'm single-handed or whether I had crew on board. So the first thing I need to do is prepare my mooring line on the boat. And in this case, I've tied it off to the starboard bow cleat. And I've run it alongside the starboard uh, side of the boat uh, to about midships. Now I can start looking at what mooring I'm going to grab. And once I've uh, chosen the mooring, I'll approach it at dead slow. And I want to bring that mooring ball to about halfway down the boat to midships. Once I get that mooring ball about midship, I get my pike pole and uh, grab hold of it. At this point, the uh, boat is nearly at a stop. Once I've fed the uh, line through the ring on the mooring ball, I can walk it forward. If I had crew, I would be at the helm and be reversing. And I just continue to walk the uh, mooring line and mooring ball towards the bow and once I'm at the bow I can bring that mooring line right around the front of the bowsprit bring it back through and attach it to the uh, port bow cleat and that's it it's a really simple method I use the same technique on our old boat but I see probably nine out of ten people approaching these moorings, hanging off the bow, grabbing on the ring with pike poles, and looking really awkward. I just don't know why people don't uh, make it easier for themselves and just pull alongside, thread the uh, ring, and back up and attach it to the bow. Very simple method. And hopefully the video showed uh, what I was doing for you guys to get a good idea of what happened there. And that's how I get a mooring. I've had people ask me, actually just the other day someone asked me on Facebook how I tie up to a mooring uh, what the strategy is so you don't need any fancy hooks that feed the line through and I, I know they have those out there but it's uh, I keep it the kiss method keep it simple stupid <laughs> that's what that's what I use for my method anyways and yeah so I'm tied up I'm gonna just clean up a little bit and oh a fun little sail I got the sails up all four for a short time, uh, the wind died right off, and it's been like two, two, three knots for most of the, the rest of the way. Nice having all four sails up, and it's just like a sloop, but there's two extra sails, an extra mast, and an extra head sail. So, uh, of course, it wasn't really difficult conditions, so I shouldn't uh, talk too soon. But, yeah, not too many boats here. I'm going to clean up, have a bite to eat, and then go poke around, I think. <laughs> 